here i am going to talk about the swan model of assignment problem assignment problem uh, is assigning uh, some uh, policy decisions uh, during the time of internal imbalance and external imbalance external Im internal imbalance refers to the uh, issues in the uh, domestic economy uh, where the economy is suffering from inflation and unemployment uh, at the same time uh, external imbalance refers to the bop's disequilibrium over a period of uh, time uh, so during these uh, kinds of uh, situations uh, what policy uh, would be recommended uh, for the government to adopt so this swan model is about us, uh, is about the assignment of appropriate policy decisions appropriate policies during the time of internal imbalance and external imbalance so let me uh, briefly introduce first the swan model this is the model developed by trevor swan in 1955 uh, this model is uh, regarding assignment of appropriate policies uh, so according to trevor swan the appropriate policies uh, are the um, uh, two sets of policies for both internal balance and external balance internal balance uh, is uh, the economic stability in the domestic economy where, where the economy uh, is having um, no unemployment and no inflation so uh, there is no unemployment and there is no inflation that means the economy is in stability that is internal balance and ex what and then what is external balance external balance refers to the bop's equilibrium over a period of time uh, there could be no trade deficit uh, and there could be no uh, trade surplus as well so what policy would be recommended by uh, trevor swan Tra according to trevor swan monetary uh, fiscal policy mix will be uh, applied for uh, for uh, internal balance and foreign exchange rate policy uh, or the policy regarding devaluation or revaluation uh, for the external balance so this is a kind of uh, arrangements this is a kind of recommendation made by Trevor Swan for having for achieving internal balance and external balance so this model is regarding assigning some policies assigning some appropriate policies for both internal balance as well as external balance and this is the internal balance internal balance refers to the uh, flow employment with the price stability that means that domestic economy is in stability there is no inflation there is no uh, unemployment economy is in stability there is no slowdown there is no recession as we see today uh, due to the lockdown uh, induced by COVID-19 and external balance refers to BOP's equilibrium over a period of time where the economy is uh, free from huge trade deficit and the trade deficit if there is any trade deficit that must be controlled and uh, the international receipts uh, will be uh, must be enough and there is no threat of international liquidity so that is a kind of that is that is the situation for external balance and so when there is no internal balance and external balance so the concerted efforts are required from the part of the government uh, so they have to uh, resort monetary fiscal policy mix on the one hand and exchange rate policy on the other so this is assignment problem uh, that is the assignment of suitable policy for internal balance and external balance and uh, suitable policy is the policy for uh, attaining overall balance in the economy in the domestic economy and also in the external sector equilibrium need to be uh, obtained due to the uh, assignment of appropriate uh, policies so appropriate policies uh, are required for attaining both internal balance and external balance so according to Trevor Swan uh, flexible exchange rate policy or exchange rate policy is the appropriate policy for external balance that means the uh, uh, exchange rate should be navigated it should be uh, devaluated or it should be revaluated re uh, according to the time uh, so that is the tool um, suggested by Trevor Swan for attaining external balance or removing BOP's disequilibrium. 
uh, at the same time monetary fiscal policy mix is suggested by travers one for attaining internal balance or the stable economy in the domestic level uh, so this is the appropriate policy and the opposite assignments are undesirable and inappropriate policies uh, in the assignment problem and a look at the internal balance schedule suggested by travers one uh, you can see uh, on the on the screen that yy schedule in the diagram is internal balance schedule and it is uh, negatively sloping as well at any point on yy schedule at any point on yy line uh, we have internal balance there uh, won't be any uh, any internal imbalance you can see so on the the on the line on the uh, yy schedule internal balance is uh, uh, materialized so here you can see four points on the diagram uh, in the diagram a b c and d here a and b are on the uh, yy schedule and therefore uh, a and b are the uh, points of internal balance where there is no unemployment there is no inflation so that's the point of uh, internal balance and here you can see c and d are uh, uh, not on the yy schedule it is uh, c is uh, above the yy schedule and d is below the yy schedule that means so at point c uh, domestic demand is higher exchange rate is also higher so domest when domestic demand is higher uh, the import will be greater uh, when uh, whenever the domestic demand is higher the inflation will be uh, greater that means c refers to the point of inflation and the point of d refers to uh, uh, lower domestic demand as it is measured along the horizontal axis lower domestic demand is uh, the case of point d and the exchange rate is also lower in that situation so in the econ economy in that case is suffering from uh, lower demand that means unemployment is a situation at point d inflation uh, is a situation at point c so that is the case of internal balance and look at the external balance here external balance uh, schedule is uh, um, given uh, in the diagram bb is the external balance schedule at any point on bb uh, external balance is ensured that means the BOP's equilibrium is ensured there is no surplus there is no deficit over a period of time along uh, any point on BB schedule and here you you can see uh, four points one two three and four these are the four cases four situations of external balance and external imbalance uh, undoubtedly the point one and point two are the cases of external balance where there is no um, uh, 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 surplus or no deficit uh, suppose first uh, look at the point one point one refers to uh, the case of uh, lower lower domestic demand that means lower import whenever uh, domestic demand is higher import will be higher whenever domestic demand is lower imports will be lower so at point one imports will be lower due to lower domestic demand comparatively and exchange rate uh, which is measured along the vertical axis is also lower comparatively compared to the uh, other points uh, three and two exchange rate is lower compared to the points three and two so when exchange rate is lower the currency domestic currency's value is a little bit uh, greater compared to the previous compared to the three points three and two that means whenever the uh, exchange rate is lower foreign demand for the domestic commodities will also be lower that means export will be lower whenever exchange rate uh, will be lower that means domestic currency is stronger at that level um, then foreign export uh, dom the e economy's export will be lower as exchange rate is lower so um, there will be lower import lower export but the external sector is in balance even though 
import and export are lower uh, similarly at the point 2 where the domestic demand is greater when domestic demand is greater import will be greater so the, the, that that the, the situation the point 2 is characterized by the existence of higher import and higher export so how uh, higher exports uh, are possible at the, at the point 2 so at point 2 exchange rate is greater that means the currency has depreciated or currency is devaluated uh, something uh, is happened uh, for the exchange rate so due to uh, the uh, devaluation or depreciation the foreign uh, demand for the domestic commodities will be greater that means uh, so to speak export is also greater import is greater export is greater so import uh, is compensated by export so there is no BOP disequilibrium even at point 2 but we have three cases two other cases of BOP disequilibrium uh, at, uh, one at three two at four so three and four are the two different points lying uh, left side and right side of the BB schedule or external balance schedule uh, first let us look at the point three Point 3 is characterized by low domestic demand. So low domestic demand means low import. So that is the case of uh, point 3. But uh, point 3 uh, refers to the, uh, at, at point 3, exchange rate is higher compared to point 1 and 4. Exchange rate is greater. Look at the uh, exchange rate which is measured along the vertical axis. Uh, so 4 is to 1. That is the price of uh, foreign exchange so uh, the price of uh, foreign exchange has increased that is exchange rate increased so when exchange rate has uh, been increased the foreign demand for the domestic commodity will be greater so export will be greater and import will be lower as domestic demand at 3 is lower so surplus will be resulted at point 3 so uh, surplus is the result at point three in the external sector and coming to the uh, fourth point uh, which is lying below or right side of the bb schedule external balance schedule so at point four domestic demand is uh, lower so domestic demand is low uh, sorry domestic demand is greater compared to the point three and two so x import will imports will be greater so imports will be greater and export uh, exports will be smaller as uh, the exchange rate here is greater so whenever the currency ex domestic currency is remaining stronger foreign demand for the uh, domestic commodities will be lower compared to the point 3 and 2 so at point 4 exchange rate is uh, uh, lower so domestic currency is stronger that is another another meaning of uh, uh, lower exchange rate so foreign demand for domestic commodities will be lower that means the exports of the domestic economy will be lower import will be greater so this will result in deficit so all so we can generally generalize that all points uh, left of BB schedule uh, is having BOP's surplus and all points right of BB schedule we will be having uh, BOP's deficit so this is the case of external balance schedule and these are the four situations of disequilibrium uh, situation 1 2 3 and 4 so situation 1 refers to the unemployment surplus case situation 2 refers to uh, inflation deficit case that means uh, domestic economy is having inflation uh, external sector is in deficit that is a kind of uh, situation and uh, the, the, the case 3 uh, st uh, refers to the situation of uh, inflation in the domestic economy and surplus in the external sector uh, uh, similarly in for uh, at point for at, at uh, the po uh, situation for internal economy is having unemployment where there is lower demand and uh, unemployment is a case and deficit is 
the situation in the external sector. So these are the four different situations of disequilibrium, uh, in the both in the internal uh, economy and external sector. So these are the four situations of internal imbalance and external imbalance. So these in these four cases, uh, internal balance and external balance are absent. So what policy would be suggested by Trevor Swan? So th this uh, Trevor Swan's model is uh, regarding the assigning some appropriate policies for attaining the point H where you can see uh, that you can see uh, on the uh, in the diagram where both internal balance schedule YY and external balance schedule BB uh, are intersecting each other at point H. So at that point, at point H, both internal balance and external balance are materialized. So what policy would be suggested by Traverse 1? Th so that, that is a case of assignment problem. So let me uh, explain uh, this uh, diagram of uh, uh, Traverse 1. So starting from, uh, so here in this diagram, domestic demand is measured along horizontal axis. So higher domestic demand means uh, higher inflation on the one hand and higher import on the other hand. Similarly, uh, the exchange rate is measured along vertical axis. Higher exchange rate means the, do, do, uh, the uh, foreign demand for domestic commodities will be greater as the domestic currency is weaker. Uh, at, the same, uh, at the same time, the lower exchange rate refers to the stronger foreign currency or weaker weaker uh, the low, uh, stronger uh, domestic currency and weaker foreign currency so the foreign demand for domestic commodities will be lower when exchange rate is lower so that uh, you should uh, always keep uh, in mind and uh, let me explain uh, the uh, diagram showing the appropriate policy and inappropriate policy for dealing with internal imbalance and external imbalance according to Traverse 1. So let me, uh, l let us start with uh, point A. So point A. Point A uh, uh, stands uh, in the left of um, BB schedule, that is the external balance schedule and it is uh, above the YY schedule or uh, the internal balance schedule. All the points uh, of the uh, internal and external balance schedules, uh, the internal balance and external balance are absent. Only on the, uh, the corresponding balance schedule, uh, the internal balance or external balance will be uh, possible. Uh, so, at po uh, A is the point of uh, both internal imbalance and external imbalance. So let me uh, first explain the inappropriate assignment uh, assignment um, explained by Traverse One in his model. And after that, uh, let me uh, I will uh, move on to the appropriate assignment suggested by Traverse One. First, uh, inappropriate assignment. Inappropriate assignment is the assignment of wrong policies for achieving both internal balance and external balance. So what will be the wrong policy or unsuitable policies for attaining internal balance and external balance? So at point A, both internal balance and external balance are absent, clearly absent. So uh, wrongly, so when a government is adopting a wrong policy, uh, that means uh, the um, exchange rate policy uh, for achieving internal balance and fiscal monetary policy mix for attaining external uh, external balance so, so this is the uh, inappropriate policy or wrong policies so let 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 me let us uh, look briefly what will happen when wrong policies are uh, applied uh, in this case of internal imbalance and external imbalance so uh, first uh, at point A, so from point A, the wrong policy of uh, exchange rate policy uh, is applied by the government 
to attain internal balance so this is the wrong uh, policy I'll, uh, i will explain why so uh, due to the implementation of uh, exchange rate policy exchange rate policy here is uh, reducing the exchange rate that means contractionary tight exchange rate policy was adopted uh, so that is the case of appreciation or um, revaluation was the case exchange rate reduced from a to b from a to b um, so exchange rate reduced so then y b is on the yy schedule that means economy has obtained internal balance uh, due to this policy but what here is lacking is external balance so in order to attain the external balance the the contract the expansionary fiscal monetary policy uh, is uh, adopted by the government so b leads to c uh, then that that movement uh, you you can see at at point b domestic demand is lower at point c domestic demand is greater well above uh, that that of b so c is the uh, point on bb schedule or external balance schedule so external balance is obtained due to the uh, fiscal monetary mix that is expansionary fiscal policy but what here is lacking uh, is the internal balance so in order to obtain internal balance again exchange rate further declined to c to d so d is the point on yy schedule yy schedule means the economy has obtained economy has uh, obtained uh, internal balance where there is no inflation there is no unemployment but what lacking here is external balance that that means deficit is the case uh, in this situation so uh, bop is in deficit in that situation so uh, the contractionary fiscal and monetary policies are applied by the government when contractionary fiscal and monetary policies are applied domestic demand has considerably uh, come down from d to e then e is the point on bb schedule that that is the external balance schedule so this process will continue uh, of uh, assigning foreign exchange policy for attaining internal balance and Uh, fiscal and monetary policies for attaining external balance so according to travers one this is the inappropriate assignment assignment of wrong policies and come to the appropriate assign appropriate assignment uh, is the application of uh, policies suitable policies for attaining both internal balance and external balance so uh, so appropriate assignment could lead to Uh, convergence rather rather than divergence so final equilibrium will be obtained with no deficit no surplus no inflation no unemployment uh, case will be obtained so this is clearly clearly the case of internal balance and external balance in tandem so that is the result of appropriate assignment appropriate policy uh, assignment according to travers one let us look here once again starting from point a so point a clearly is the case of uh, lack of both internal balance and external balance so in order to uh, have the external balance first the exchange rate is uh, has cut down considerably from a to j look at the diagram a to j that is the considerable reduction of exchange rate through a uh, revaluation of the currency domestic currency so domestic currency is devaluation uh, that means a is the point in which surplus is the case in the external sector bop surplus is there in order to reduce the bop surplus exchange rate has come down considerably that means uh, the domestic currency's value has increased foreign demand for domestic uh, for domestic commodities is coming down considerably from a to j Uh, considerably uh, due to the reduction of exchange rate from a to j but what here happened is the surplus is exhausted uh, completely exhausted hunt exactly exhausted so now the point is on j where um, the external balance is obtained but what lacking here in this case is lack of internal balance uh, that means the um, 
unemployment is the case in that situation economy is suffering uh, from unemployment uh, at point j so in order to uh, reduce that problem of unemployment the the government is looking for expansionary fiscal and monetary policy for expanding the domestic demand the unemployment can be cut down due to the expansionary fiscal and monetary policy so the point now is k where internal balance is obtained uh, as it is along the as it is on the yy schedule that is the case of internal balance but again external balance is missing so in order to uh, in order uh, this is the external case external uh, disequilib imbalance case of deficit as export is a uh, little bit lower than uh, import 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 is greater in that situation so in, in order to ex increase the export exchange rate is uh, slightly increased by the government through the exchange rate policy of devaluation so exchange rate increased domestic demand foreign demand for domestic commodity increased again as exchange rate increased so that means uh, the export uh, will increase and deficit will be compensated so finally this will uh, reach the bop's equilibrium uh, on the one hand and uh, internal balance on the other hand internal balance is characterized by full employment with price stability there is no unemployment there is no inflation this is price stability with the full employment that is the case of internal balance as uh, as well as external balance is the case of bop's equilibrium where there is no uh, deficit there is no surplus this is the case of um, appropriate and inappropriate assignment for the uh, both internal and external balance according to traverse so let me briefly conclude the uh, presentation on traverse one's model of assignment problem uh, here the assignment problem is uh, the uh, problem uh, of assigning some appropriate policies for both internal balance and external balance according to traverse one the inappropriate assignment uh, is or unsuitable assignment is the application of exchange rate policy for achieving internal balance and monetary fiscal policies for external balance this will not lead to equilibrium this will uh, lead to divergence rather than convergence and so the appropriate assignment suggested by Trevor Swan is the application of exchange rate policy for achieving external balance and monetary fiscal policies for attaining internal balance that only will lead to convergence or equilibrium so this is the uh, assignment problem suggested by Trevor Swan in 1955